if I told you you could eat something that could make achieving your goal exponentially easier. Something that there is substantial evidence now to back up that its consumption in high quality form leads to optimal health. These cellular and molecular processes keep us alive. You know what makes these processes possible? Proteins. At any given moment, you are using tens of thousands of proteins to make all this happen. It is not an exaggeration when we say that they are working to keep you alive. Some of their jobs include helping you digest food. That's pretty imperative. They help you grow your hair, your nails, your bones, your muscles. They are the reason your tissues and organs have shape and can move. They are the building blocks that literally make up who you are, and they totally fuel your energy. You have enzymatic proteins, structural proteins, storage proteins, transport proteins, hormonal proteins, receptor proteins, contractile proteins, defense proteins. And you know what they all need to exist? Yep, protein, because that's what they're made of. When you have enough protein, your body builds muscle easier, recovers faster, aids in fat loss, improves your glycemic control, reduces cravings, helps balance hormones like cortisol, which then helps you sleep better. When you sleep better, you feel better. You can see where I'm headed. When you wake with more energy and rested, you keep making more of your good micro decisions way easier. And those micro decisions are the things that are helping you care for yourself. Protein is literally one of those essential nutrients that's needed for the entire cascade that we just listed off to actually happen. We have the ability to eat something throughout the day that does all that. Let's take a look at some of the science that we will leverage. Higher protein diets improve the indexes of sleep in energy. This research adds sleep quality to the growing list of positive outcomes of higher protein intake while losing weight and those other outcomes including promoting body fat loss, retention of lean body mass, and improvements in blood pressure. Substantial evidence supports the increased consumption of high quality protein to achieve optimal health outcomes. A growing body of research indicates that protein intakes well above the current recommended dietary allowance helps to promote healthy aging, appetite regulation, weight management, and goals aligned with athletic performance. Higher protein intakes may help the loss of muscle mass and strength that predisposes older adults to frailty, disability, and loss of autonomy. Higher protein diets also lead to greater reductions in body weight and fat mass compared with standard protein diets. Foods rich in protein contain amino acids to help produce key neurotransmitters preventing and treating depression and anxiety. Protein-packed meals and snacks help you avoid sugary, processed foods, which can trigger anxiety and depression. A diet rich in protein also helps improve energy levels, gives you the strength to get moving and feel better. Protein is an essential nutrient for all processes in the body, including the optimal functioning of your brain. Creating a menu plan that includes plenty of protein can be an important act of self-care that can mitigate depression and anxiety. There's a misunderstanding not only among the public, but also in our profession about the RDA. People in general think we all eat too much protein, and this turns out to be wrong. For a relatively active adult, a daily protein intake to meet the RDA would supply as little as 10% of his or her total calories. Patients prescribed a protein restriction have an increase in the breakdown of skeletal muscle. It should be noted that patients should not be discouraged from consuming animal-based proteins because it can be difficult to meet the total protein need needs without consumption of those foods. These are a few of the studies I provided. For those of you who want to read them, they're over on the simplesselfcarelifestyle.com. The link to today's article is below. High quality protein is not only identified in the research to be safe, but recommended for optimal health and wellness. Here's what our body does. The body takes that high quality protein that we consume, breaks it up into 20 amino acids, and then your amazing body reassembles them into the exact proteins your body needs. I know, right? It disassembles, then reassembles the 20 amino acids into the all the different proteins we need. 
for all these processes. Our body takes those 20 amino acids, the 20 pieces that it just disassembled, reassembles them into our enzymatic proteins, our structural proteins, our storage proteins, our transport proteins, our hormonal proteins, our receptor proteins, our contractile proteins, our defense proteins. That is nothing short of amazing. So there are two key things to know about these 20 amino acids. Knowing these two things is what helped me shift away from being concerned about eating protein to having the logic and the understanding of why and how I should be eating it. Of those 20 amino acids that are used to assemble the proteins in our body, nine of them we must provide because our body cannot make them. These nine are essential. Essential meaning just like essential workers, if you're missing them, things don't work. So that's one thing. We need to have the raw materials to make all 20, nine of them, we must provide to our body through consumption often so it has access to them, period. We can't make them, we must ingest them. Important point number two, the biological blueprint that cellular meta uh, metabolic pathways that keep us alive must be followed to the letter or they cannot do their jobs. Missing an essential amino acid, one of those nines we have to provide will compromise the ability of tissue to grow, be repaired, or maintained. All proteins have a biological blueprint that must be followed to the letter or they will not be able to do their jobs. So the more I studied proteins, it came to me that, oh, this is like having a 20 letter alphabet. So I envisioned 20 amino acids as simply 20 letters. If I wanna get you to move closer to me, I would put the letters together to make the words so you could understand what to do. Please move closer. It's clear, you know I would like you to move closer. So you could do it. If one of these 20 is missing, the likelihood of the thing happening would be reduced and minimally, it would take more time for you to figure out what I was asking you to do. If two letters were missing, three letters missing. You get the idea of the 20. When we're missing one, two, three, that's already enough to muck up the messaging and the outcome. Knowing the science that when our body has all 20 amino acids, 20 pieces to make our body's proteins out of them, our body has an easier and easier time to do what it's supposed to. Over time, having all 20 starts to optimize our systems and that's why my body responded so well over time. Now, when we're talking about complete proteins, that includes, of course, meat, fish, dairy, and egg. My suggestion is to prioritize unprocessed high quality meats first. Egg, if your body does well with egg, and I stay away from suggesting using dairy because that has a whole host of other possible complications for many digestive systems. Keep it really simple. Unprocessed meat like chicken breast, turkey breast, ground, whatever works, simply cook them all at once, slice and place them in glass containers like ball jars and eat them throughout the week. If you're a vegetarian, work off the list and slowly consider the benefits of high quality, well cared for animal protein in tiny palatable portions. I was where you are and I slowly healed my body and helped scores of others with a slow, thoughtful transition. It came from understanding my body's needs and my goals to heal. I emphasize for everyone to work in the moment where they are. Maybe incorporating this will come later, but having the information means all your options are in your hands.